Hi, I'm Donna with Donna's Things. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, thank you so much for taking your time and joining in with us, checking out what's going on on this side of the camera. I really do appreciate it. You know if you are returning, no matter how many times you have been here, my heart is grateful and so I am thank you for your time also. So, welcome to Friday Sews. This is a time when artists, crafters, sewers, whatever it is you like to do, you share what you've been doing throughout the week, um, you know, what you're going to be doing, what you're working on, whatever it is you want to do, and just a little bit about life. This was created by Jen over in Today uh, in Junk. Jen's, oh my God, I got it all twisted. This was created by Jen at Today in Jen's Sewing Room. She uh, just has us to post these videos and people from all over everywhere are watching and we get a few tips and tricks that we may not have known anything about to help us along in our journey. It's just a beautiful community and I am glad to be a part of it. So what have I been working on? So I am going to put in a clip, insert a clip, and this clip is not from this past Wednesday, but Wednesday before, and then I'll give you an update as to where I am. So I went to the fabric store today. As I say all the time, Fabric Hut in Virginia. I went to the store for buttons for my husband's shirt and stretch needles so I would have them in my supplies. You see this purple bag? <laughs> this means I shopped. I fabric shopped today. Now, I also mention all the time that I fabric shop every Wednesday. And I do that because I spread my budget out and normally I buy my fabrics. I don't only shop on Wednesday, but I will shop on Wednesdays because at Fabric Hut, um, there's a sale every Wednesday right now on fashion fabric, you know, cotton, and it's buy one yard and the second yard is half off. So I try to hold off until Wednesdays to do my shopping. That doesn't always work, but I do try to do that. Anyway, I go in there today. Now I know it's Wednesday, so it's the possibility that I am going to shop. However, that's exactly what I did. So I picked out my buttons, I picked out my needles, and I was thinking, well, let me find some fabric to make this um, McCall's dress. I'll post it up so you can see it. But to make this McCall's dress, I was looking for the black and white stripe exactly like they have it on the pattern. I didn't see that. And when I asked the gentleman, Wayne, to help me out, I was choosing between two fabrics. And wasn't really sure about this one, but this is one that I like better. But they did have this. It's a knit. And even though it's not just a solid black and white stripe, as you can see, it still has the black and white stripe. But it has some gray flowers in it. But I'm still thinking that this will work. It's really pretty, actually. It has a nice stretch to it, you know, four-way stretch, but nice stretch. Uh, but it's And it's a nice weight. It has a nice thickness. So I thought it would give me the look I'm going for with the dress. But I have been seeing this piece of fabric right here um, when I go in there. I didn't buy it before because when I see this, it makes me think bodycon dresses, you know, dresses that are dressed that's 
it looks like something that should fit like when i say fit i mean fit and i hadn't bought any even though i look at it when i when i go in there so i was thinking maybe this one would do for that pattern also so we take um this one to the counter to get it cut and i'm thinking that fabric is too nice for this dress. So I should make something else. And the gentleman said, what about a duster and some pants? And I was like, shucks, as nice as this fabric is. This has a stretch also. I'm thinking as nice as this fabric is, it's gorgeous actually. And it's textured, both of them are textured. This looks like a whole ensemble duster, pants, dress, a skirt in the top or whatever. Man, a pair of black pants, maybe a black skirt and a black top. I'm good for a whole weekend or whatever. But anyway, I said, this looks too good for that dress. So I had had him cut three yards and I added another yard. So I actually have four yards of this one. It's 58 inches wide. It's a textured striped um, black and taupe knit. And I said, well, since this is not gonna be for that dress, go ahead and let's cut the black and white one here. But I said, let's just give me two yards, 58 inches, and I'll make that Strike McCall's dress, but I will make the sleeveless version. So now let me tell you why I'm not sound sounding real happy about it. I don't keep a lot of fabric. I say that all the time. I'm gonna show you a picture of my stash posted right over here somewhere of the credenza that I keep it in and my stash. I don't like to have a lot of fabric. And when you see what's in my credenza, most of it is fabric that I've already used. It's just that I buy so much. So I might buy three yards every time I buy fabric, but if I only make a skirt or a pair of pants, I'm going to have two yards or a yard and a half. So most of what you see in my um, collection, my fabric collection, is fabric that I've already used. It's just these are big pieces in case I want to use it again. And then you're going to see some rolled up knits that I have collected from Walmart over a period of time. So I normally buy my fabric and go ahead and make my garment. Well, that's not what's happening to me right now. I have not sewn all the fabrics from the fabric haul I did, I think it was in November. I have since done another fabric haul this March, the first week of March, I think I did a fabric haul. And then of course, today I bought these two pieces. So. You have my credenza that stores my fabric. And right here is where, if it's sitting here, it's because this is what I'm now working on. I don't have fabric. It's scraps of what I'm working on and the fabric itself of what I'm working on. The rest of these drawers just have like interfacing, crafting things, my felt pieces for my felt jewelry and stuff that's what's in here so my credenza and here right now my credenza is full because i have about six pieces from my fabric hauls that i have not used i now have these two and for me that's overwhelming it seems like a lot to do. I know that's not a lot, but for me, because I like to sew it and get it, but I had decided for the month of March that I would slow it down. I didn't stop sewing, but I took more breaks than I usually do. So I haven't gotten it sewn up 
and I am overwhelmed because I want to get it made. I don't want to store because the cabinet is full. Nothing else can get in there. And once that's full, to me, that means let go of some of the pieces that you're not ever going to use and all of that. So the cabinet's full. These two, they will fit, but they won't fit. I am overwhelmed. So I now need to really look at what I have, make a list, and get these things done. And that's because I don't like to see it. Even though I know it's not a lot, I don't like to see it. And the good thing is, is that there's spring and summer fabric. So I'm not behind as far as season wise. Then I'm at the register and uh, paying for my item. And they have all these different panels that are hanging panels that you can, um, you know, quilt. So I see one and I'm thinking about the little one in my life and I've already, I brought it home today. I washed it, I pressed it, I have it pinned to the, um, oh Lord, I can't think of <laughs> the middle part. I can't, I can't think of it, but I have it pinned and this is the panel. It's really pretty. It has all kinds of sayings on it. It says, um, find some something good every day. Always believe something wonderful is about to happen. It's just nice. Being happy never goes out of style. So I brought it home. I washed it. I dried it and pressed it. And now I have it started pinned. I'll go to the fabric store this week to get the fabric for the backing because I'm going to go ahead and get this made up. It's so pretty, but I have got to stop. <laughs> I have got to stop. So I'm going to write my list out tonight of the fabrics I have, what I'm going to make, and I'm going to set a goal that by the end of May, I will have all of these things made up. Now, will I shop again? Yes, I will. That's what I like to do. So I do it. But I've got to sew some this weekend and stuff in order to make it make sense when I go in the store next Wednesday. I don't know. I might even take a break next Wednesday, but I love to buy fabric. I love beautiful things. Now, I know both of these, the black and white, the taupe and black, they're going to make some beautiful outfits, but I need to look at what I have. Now, I know some people, their stash is a closet full. They're just running over with fabric, and that's fine and great, but that's overwhelming to me. I can't do that. Just a few pieces. I haven't even named. What I say I have about... 10 pieces to make up that's probably nothing but for me that's a lot so i'm off to get my notebook and check out my stuff and see what i am going to do now since then i have done quite a bit of sewing when i went through my credenza when i went through my all of my fabrics that I have, I found that I really had 13 pieces of fabric that were new in my collection of pieces that I wanted to get sewn up. So there were 13 pieces uh, that I got started with on that. Of the 13 pieces, I was able to separate seven of those pieces into more or less fall, um, maybe late spring, but into fall and some winter pieces. So I decided that those seven pieces I really don't have to worry about, but I do have the six pieces that I wanted to go ahead and get done. I also had about eight pieces um, 
that I knew I would not, I was not going to use. So I removed those from the credenza. Now I do have a lady that does her own craft. And so before I take my fabrics to Goodwill or where I'm going, wherever I take them, she will go through them. And if there's a few pieces she wants, of course, I happily give them away. Otherwise, those items will go to the Goodwill. So I think it's, I think it's eight of those pieces. And then um, the seven that's for the fall and the six that I am sewing up. Now, I have sewn four of the six pieces. I've already done that. I have two pieces. No, I've sewn three. I cut another one. So I've sewn three of the six pieces that I pulled out. I have three left to sew. But in between time, I have bought two three other fabrics that I have already sewn up and I've actually posted videos already for those garments. So I will post up here. Well, if you go in my description box, I will show you where those three items that I have already made are sitting. So I feel so much better. I know it's crazy, but it is like a weight lifted off of me. I, um, one of the things that I showed in that clip was a panel that I had bought to quilt like a little lap size blanket. And at the time I had the panel, but since then I have purchased the back. I put the backing on and I've already started to quilt it. I have a, um, I don't know what they call it. I'm sorry, I should have looked it up. But it's a design, it's like a ruler. It might be a ruler. It's like a ruler that you follow along um, for a quilting design. And this is when you don't have a long arm and you're doing your own quilting. This is the design, like that love heart. And I had never used it before, so I've started using it um, on here. You probably can't see it. You might can see it better from the back. You can see where I started quilting it from the back. But I've got four of those done. I'm going to put one in each um, section of writing. So I've got the back to the quilt. I've got four of the um, designs on there already started. So I think in a week and a half, I've made three garments from my collection. I've started my quilt and I've made three other garments from new purchase fabric that I went and purchased. And I've also started purchasing, you can see over here, and this video will come out next Tuesday. You can see over here a collection that's getting started. And that's going to be for my eight-piece spring ensemble. So I have been pretty busy. The other thing that I've been going through, I was had been doing a lot of crafting. So a lot of bags, a lot of the wallets, the bowl cozies and things like that. I had gone through those last year and gave away a lot of things, but what I had forgotten that I had were these napkins. I don't even know how many people still use fabric napkins, but I had made sets of six each, and this is a pattern. This is a pattern. This is a pattern. This is a pattern. And the brown is a pattern. And when I say pattern, I mean a set of six in that 
particular pattern. So I was uh, going through some things in my dining room and I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot that I had these. So I have six, no, I have five sets of napkins and I'll figure out a way to get them. But like I said, do people even use these anymore? I may use one for myself if I fix myself a nice meal sit down and eat it and feel like just you know dressing nice sometimes I want to do that put on something really cute and comfortable I want to sit at the table with my fancy dishes and my fan you know my plate whatever I have and my cup and then just and take my time and enjoy my meal so I may use one then but overall my family know we use paper napkins sometimes the good ones the, what are they vanity or whatever they call them we use those but not really those so I will be figuring out a way to gift those napkin sets I don't know somebody might ask me can they buy them I don't know but if not I will figure that out and that's what I have been up to in the sewing room one of the garments that has been made is what I'm wearing now. This is Simplicity 9602. 9602. This is what the line drawing of it looks like. Do I love it? Yes, I do. It is gorgeous. And... I don't like it. Look at the flounce on the sleeve. So pretty. It is, of course, an added piece, so it's a flounce. It has the band going all the way around from the top to the bottom. Um, I don't know how does she. Yeah, it's closed with this tie. Now it's supposed to be a drawstring. I didn't do a drawstring. I just connected the tie right here on the edge. It's connected. So here's the fabric for the front. Here's the band. And I connected the tie in between. And I can tie it just like this. Oh my gosh, it is so cute. And this is what I'm talking about. This is the kind of thing that I might put on to wear around the house, sit down, have my nice dinner. Now, it does go. I'll try to insert a picture so you can see the whole thing. It is just about maxi length. It stops about, so it's midi, I guess. Um, it stops about two inches before my... Um, before my ankle but I want to be honest with you when you working with knit you got to be careful because when I got to the very bottom and put the band on it had it didn't go straight it had a little curve and I've run into that before where something has stretched probably the bottom of the fabric has stretched now I worked with it a little bit, but I didn't make a really big deal out of it because I didn't really see that I was going to be wearing this out. But you know how it is when you say you're not going to wear something out and it ends up being so beautiful, you want to wear it out. But I'll get a picture inserted somewhere so that you can see what it looks like. So yes, as always, I have been a busy bee. And that's pretty much what life has been about. Um, just uh, talking with my friends, you know, just keeping up with relationships and realizing how important relationships are. Different people mean different things to you in your lifetime, but some come and stay, some come and go. But I think friendship is so, so, so important. And a lot of times we get so busy with life, we forget to honor those friendships. We forget to make time for those things. And I decided in my life that I don't want to do that in, anymore. I love the people that 
God has placed in my life. I love what I mean to them, what they mean to me. I love how we um, support each other's journey. That is like so important to me. And I won't give you the whole story, but this bracelet right here is now so, so very special um, to me. If you've ever, it's just a gold bracelet, it has three stones on it. If you watch Hallmark movies, one of the latest movies that came out is the Blessing Bracelet. So if you've ever seen that, you'll know what I mean, but that's that. And that's what's been going on around here at Donna's Things. Thank you so, so much for watch, watching the channel on today. I pray that you have a blessed weekend and even the days that are to come ahead. I really do appreciate it. Hit that like button, share my channel. Subscribe to my channel if you would, but you know how I say it every time. It's like a cliche, but I really do mean it. You know, if you just want to scroll through every now and then and check out what's going on on Donna's things, well, I really do appreciate that also. But I do want you to ring that bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.